Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Buds. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for a review of set 21339 and that's the BTS Dynamite Lego Ideas set. Now, if you are a regular on the channel, you would have probably heard us talk about this when we first saw it hit Lego Ideas and we were completely unaware of what BTS was. During the pandemic when this song was a hit, we were up to our eyeballs in childcare and worrying about how we would get our work hours in and all of, all of the craziness that the pandemic brought. So I completely missed this song didn't know what BTS was, I'm not a K-pop fan, and so this video is going to come from that point of view of someone who doesn't know the band, isn't a fan of the music, but still wants to see if this Lego set would work in their Lego city. I have, however, listened to the song, watched the video many, many times before I've done this video, because I want to understand the bits that a BTS fan might find annoying and I have to say that the song is in no way annoying I, I can happily sing it all day long so I can see why it's such a big hit so I think what we should do first is have a look at the minifigures because that is obviously the key part of the set the BTS band members themselves so whilst they do have all the band members there I think they could have improved on some of the minifigures so RM this one here the hair in the video is not that bright I think it needs to be more of an aqua color which is available in Lego so I don't know why they didn't go for that I think that would have made this look much more realistic Jin the coloring is completely off I'd say that the red needs to be at the bottom and then maybe a lighter color at the top maybe this um, nougat color would have worked better and then Jimin I feel like maybe just a few more details on that torso this um, writing on the torso that would have made that a little bit more accurate but I am loving the new hair pieces. I think the curtains hair just really works well. And there's no way you could have got away with not making that because that is their iconic hair from the video. So it works really well. The one disappointing thing you will notice is that all of the band have like really fancy belts in the video and there is absolutely no details on any of the legs or in fact the arms. So like Jin at the front, could have done with some spots on those arms and then adding those belt details in would have really helped as well because I think that makes them so much more glam and it would have really really helped but overall you can see see the likenesses and for sure that star also is my favorite so next let's look at the actual set itself the initial ideas design was quite basic I think Lego have done a really good job here in adding a few more details from the video itself and rounding it out and making it a, a good Lego set. So you've got all the scenes that you would expect from the video, the disco hall, the record shop, the donut and burger bar, the ice cream van. And in fact, if you turn this round, you've also got the basketball hoop as well. The only scene that's missing, I think, is the initial one in the, the bedroom. So the whole thing is joined together, obviously, to make it one big set. But you could take these individual places apart. So let's have a look at the, the record shop to start with. There's a lot of stickers in this set. I think four sheets of stickers. And so a lot of those details go in here. You've got the sign, the front window. They both seem pretty accurate. You've got a record in the window and a record player. I think those are the other way around in the actual video, but that's no biggie. And then the rear of the record shop. You've got the four sets of records there. You obviously would have double-sided in the actual video, but they've done a pretty good job still fitting that into such a small space. You've got individual records as well. This should have a slope as well, but again, they're cramming it in. Lots of different records, but there's a, a prominence of the Dynamite record itself, which you didn't see in the video, but there was only one record, I think, in the record shop that was Dynamite. But... This is a dynamite set so it makes sense coloring is pretty good so i'd say they did the record shop well the basketball hoop obviously is a much bigger location in the video much wider you've got the gates but they've got the key details here the mural on the back is good that's a sticker detail unfortunately but it looks good it's playable you can still oh it's not playable it doesn't go through the disco frontage you've got the parking meter and the fire hydrant you've also got the air conditioning unit and this is always fun to build lettering in in lego so i enjoyed that part the original lego ideas design had a pink donut but that was just because they were trying to use existing lego pieces this has worked quite well to make the donut and the frontage is okay you've got the sign that says dynamite began donut as a lego city builder the interior is pretty good you've got a fridge 
a drinks machine, ketchup and mustard, menu. This is for trays to go in once you've finished your food, a little window seat, but it doesn't really bear much reflection on the actual layout of the burger and donut place in the video. At the back of the build, you've got the stage design, you've got lighting, some sparkles, BTS logo here, and then you can attach all of the minifigures onto the stage. Here's an example on there, using the side cogs, they can spin. And so obviously if you line them all up at the start, they will stay in sync. My biggest bugbear about the stage, however, is that, I mean, it is detachable, so that's quite cool. The layout of the studs doesn't really represent the way that the, the band actually is in formation. They're normally in a V shape. So, and even if they've got lack, lack of space, then there'll still be one person out the front. So you can't have that lead dancer there. So it's not quite accurate to the to the video but it's still quite a cool idea so there they all are on there let's make them dance na 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 right that's enough singing for me but they they do stay in sync it is pretty cool they'll go the whole way round if you place them correctly otherwise they sometimes bash each other there are two studs that are covered up I thought maybe that you could uncover those and change the formation, but they go the wrong way round, so then they would not be in sync. And here's the mechanism that it, that uses, so just a lot of cogs underneath to get them to go in sync. Side build wise, you have the two palm trees to build, just to give it the, the right sort of weather location. A small ice cream truck, which has got the the ice cream on top but there's no sprinkles i would have liked to have seen some sprinkles on there the other side has got some ice creams in so it's quite playable a couple of traffic cones and then a sign which looks really good you've got the donut sign the coffee sign is spelled incorrectly but that's exactly how it is in the video so that's that's acceptable and you don't have the open on the top but you do have the arrow so they sort of simplified it a little bit, it still really works. The instructional booklet is far nicer than the current standard booklets we're getting at the moment from Lego. They've gone out of their way to sort of put artwork on the front instead of just the image of the set. And as with most Lego Ideas sets, you've got some extra details about the subject matter and some detailing about the designers, both Lego and fan designers so there's the lego designers there's the fan designers but otherwise it's just standard lego instructions only four bags to build quite a simple build but quite a few stickers so overall i think lego have done a really good job getting this to be a more fun build than just a, a disco sign I think it really represents the music video but also would work well in a city so you can definitely take this apart put it into different places in your city so I, th I see more appeal than just for the bts fans if you aren't a bts fan though do go and listen to this song it is really catchy i don't think you should hate bts and i think this is going to open up the doors for quite a lot of other lego ideas submissions for for music videos which is going to be an interesting thing to see how it plays out so I'm not against the set at all and I'm, I'm actually really pleased I've got it and I'm definitely going to be keeping it and putting all of the pieces somewhere in the city. So let me know in the comments below whether you're a BTS fan or not, what you think of the set, will you be picking it up today on day one or are you going to wait a little longer or not get it at all? Also if you want to see our city where this is going to end up then I'll link up our city update playlist and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later!